In the Deco game, teams can hold up the three artifacts, and we're going to check in with Three Bar Robot and 30 Hours teams, talk about how they're using gravity-fed hoppers and what they're doing for their transfer process to get it into their shooters as well, too. So you're going to see some similar but also different ways that they're approaching something like this, specifically when they're transferring into their shooters as well, too. So check out each three of these teams as they're here at the Robot and 30 Hours Challenge here on FUN. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is inspiring teams to build better robots with their new array of FTC team options. Check out their updated bevel gears and Maverick hex shaft motors, planetary gearbox options, and 6mm hex components and shafts for extreme power transmission. Go to studica.com robots to learn more and apply for discounts. Go ahead free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the Join button below to get started. Hi, I'm Preston from 9224 Techno Goats in Wisconsin, and we, in our 30-hour challenge, designed a funnel system for our robot, and we are able to hold three of these. So the balls are loaded in, and we have a servo here that'll open and close. So it drops and we'll have this spinning super fast. So they'll shoot through and go flying and hopefully make it. <laughs> so what would we do would we would have a human player drop a ball into it and then we could have several at the same time. And then when we were positioned to launch it, we would move this servo, which would let the ball fall in. And so now it's in contact with our flywheel. And so with the large amount of contact we have with it, we go through here, and it's continuing to have contact with the flywheel up until here, and so all of that energy is transferred into it, allowing it to be made into the basket. Hi, this is Adi from Team 925 Dynamite Social Club, and we'd like to demonstrate um, one of our uh, features on our robot called the hopper, right? So the aim of this servo is to, we have this sort of arm type of thing that it kind of hits the artifact into the wheels for it to be propelled into the goal. So the reason we did that is because we found it to be pretty simple and it works pretty well with the cage, this cage sort of thing, um, so that we can hold three artifacts and also, you know, cycle them one after the other, right? And so here's a demonstration of how it works. So if I click the button, it'll move it and then the wheels would be rotating and then the rotation would make it go into the goal. Right, so that's how, we sh that's how our shooting mechanism works. Uh, hi, I'm Tyler from uh, LaserBots. Um, our hopper is uh, fr uh, from the top of our robot down and uses gravity to just shoot it down. But instead of just having all of them against each other, we have this servo here to stop all of the, the balls from falling down at once, which allows this uh, ball in the actual shooter here to fly out nicely without having any, any interference from the backside. Um, underneath, we have a lever that pushes up our ramp entirely, and it pushes the ramp just enough to allow the ball to shoot through the, uh, the wheels, and then instantly goes back down and reloads into the next ball. You wanna... We also have some programming that allows the uh, the, the operator to press a single button to reload. You just press the up button and then it will activate all of the uh, servos to then reset the launcher at the same time. Thank you for watching Robot in 30 Hours. For more videos, check out Fun's YouTube. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Studica Robotics is inspiring teams to build better robots with their new array of FTC team options. Check out their updated bevel gears and Maverick hex shaft motors, planetary gearbox options, and 6mm hex components and shafts for extreme power transmission. Go to studica.com robots to learn more and apply for discounts.